Hello friends, it is the most wonderful time of the year, at least for me and anyone that is a beauty lover like myself. It is time for the Sephora sale. So I'll put the dates on the screen of the sale. It officially starts today, but then I think it goes every weekend for three weekends. I'll put it on the screen, but I wanted to share with you some of my recommendations. I'm thinking of making this a two part because I have a lot of recommendations. And I also want to do like a Sephora sale wish list, like things that I guess it would be like a shopping list slash wish list, wish list of things that I'm going to buy. I'm currently filming at 6 a.m., bear with me. Let's jump right into it. First up, we have Kaja Beauty. Kaja, Ka you guys know I don't know how to say it. K-A-J-A Beauty. I did a full review video on this. This is an affordable um, K-Beauty brand that Sephora started selling this year. So if you wanna see that video, any videos that I've done full reviews on these products mentioned, Nikki, link them down below. This is a message to my future self because sometimes I forget. And you guys gave me the good idea to use a notepad and I do have a notepad. So Kaja Beauty, they have highlighters, eyeshadows. Um, they have this really cool stampable blush. So you take the actual sponge. I actually used this yesterday and you dip it in here. I thought I would not like this because I do not like cream products, but I really like this blush. So if you want to check out the full review video and see it in action, I'll leave a link down below. Um, I just really like their products. I left it on all day. The eyeshadows are beautiful. The blushes are nice. And I think it's really cool that a Korean brand has um, women of color in their marketing because I've never seen that before. That's what really drew me to them. So if you want to check it out, I will leave a link to everything down below. Next up is an oldie but a goldie. This is my Clarisonic. I love this. I've done full review videos on the foundation brush head, but I've recently fallen in love with using this on my face again. I, I think I told you guys the genesis of Clarisonic in my life. Very dramatic. Um, I started using this years ago, maybe three or four years ago, and then I just stopped, and I don't know why, but once I started putting on heavy makeup again, this stuff is great at making sure I get off all my makeup. And it oscillates, you can hear that. It's waterproof, it's a great facial brush. And I've had it for years. I have a couple actually, because I have a problem. But, uh, well, I don't have a problem. <laughs> Not like I just go randomly buy a lot. I already owned one and then Clarisonic was nice enough to send me one. So I have two and I love them. So I keep one on my vanity in the restroom and one by the shower. It's great. They have foundation brush heads. It's one of my favorite ways to put on foundation. It, I have to use a lot less product when I use their foundation brush head and it makes it fast because it just goes all over the face. It oscillates, bam. Now this product is new to me. I'm hoping they sell this at Sephora. I think they do. This actually came in a BoxyCharm. I think it came in BoxyCharm this month. This is from Pharmacy and this is their makeup removing balm. You guys, you know I love the Clinique makeup removing balm. If you um, wanna check that out, I'll leave a link down below to the Clinique one. Look at the reviews, it's amazing. I think I might like this one a little more. I feel like it gets off all my makeup. Oh, I didn't even realize. It's, well, I don't think Pharmacy is a Korean brand, but it says made in Korea. This just feels lightweight. And I love the smell. It kind of has a minty smell, but it's not overwhelming. It's very light. And I just feel like it's a little more lightweight than the Clinique. When I use the Clinique, I feel like it's thicker and I have to wash my face more after. With this, I feel like it takes off so much makeup, it's lightweight, and then I don't have to wash my face like as long. I really like this. And it says it's green clean. What does that mean? A nourishing facing cleansing balm, melts away makeup, and pollution residue. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I like it. For eye makeup removal, apply to closed eyes, rinse with warm water. I really like it. Hopefully they sell this at Sephora. I think they do. I'll leave a link down below. Next up, Sol de Janeiro. You guys know I love all of their products. If you've never heard of Sol de Janeiro, they make a lot of bath um, products and like um, kind of like skincare products. So this is their... Brazilian Bod Buff Smoothing Scrub and Mask. Uh, so it's basically a body wash. <laughs> 
It's a scrub and mask. It has Amazon River Clay to help exfoliate. I really like it. And what I really like about Sol de Janeiro, I'm just trying to find, they have a lot of different languages on here, um, is the smell. It smells like coconut, vanilla, uh, what else? Almost like a chocolatey smell. And this is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This sample, I think, BoxyCharm, if you guys need a subscription box, BoxyCharm is legit. This one came in a BoxyCharm. I haven't even opened it yet. But I own, I've been using this for years. I own a lot of them full size. It um, is great for stretch marks and, um, what's the other one? Stretch marks and cellulite. Girl, I have both. I don't know why I forgot. I'm probably trying to forget it. Like, just exile them both from my mind. Oh my God, it smells so good. You have to smell it. And um, they also have an acai cream and it's just really soothing on the skin. So I love their products. So this is the Brazilian Bod Buff and this is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream and it's just amazing. All right, next up, let's talk about a powder that is kind of new to me that I showed you guys in my mm, We Try Australian Snacks. I think it was we try Vegemite or something with my boyfriend. If you haven't seen that video, it's fun. I'll leave a link to it down below. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, but this is the Glow in Medium Deep. So it says that this is great for making your makeup last, weightless wear, uh, sheer coverage, and natural luminosity. I love this. and it. I don't think it comes with the brush. Laura Mercier, full disclosure, sent this to me for free, um, but you can pick it up at Sephora, and you guys know I tell you the truth, whether something was sent to me for free or not, whether I like it. Um, I love this brush. It is so, so, I'm always like, just touch me. It is, so, that sounds weird. It is, that's what she said. Oh my God, I've been watching too much Office. Anybody that watches The Office knows um, I feel like you either love The Office or you hate The Office. There's nobody that's just kind of like, oh, that show's okay. Like some people are just like, why do you think that is so funny? Like my boyfriend is like, that show is not funny. I think it's hilarious. Anyways, tangent, if you're new here, I often go into little stories. Um, I love the brush, so I'm just, I forgot to actually put it on today. I like to just pack it onto the skin. Well, not even pack it, dab it onto the skin. I've been using it this last two weeks. I really like it. I told you guys in that video that I've mentioned that I'm, um, I usually don't wear powder just because, why have I not worn powder? I don't even know, but I've really been enjoying this and I really like this brush, so. I'll leave a link to this down below. They do have different shades. It helps to make my makeup last longer throughout the day while adding a nice natural glow without, without oh my God, I got some in my mouth, without making me oily. I told you we're gonna keep moving. We're breezing through here. Next up is the Lancome Eye Makeup Remover. Now, I used to think that eye makeup remover was totally pointless. What's the point? I can just wash my face with soap and all my eye makeup comes off. And then you guys know the drill. If you wear liner, if you wear mascara, after you wash your face, it's not all gone. This will get all of your eye makeup off, especially like me, if you wear a lot of false lashes, you have eyelash glue, you have mascara, you have mascara primer. I'm very high maintenance with the eyes. You have the eyeshadow primer, you have four eyeshadows, you have concealer, like all that stuff, it will take it off it's amazing and what I like about using a makeup remover is you know when you use makeup wipes you're tugging at your skin which can cause premature wrinkles which is we don't want that so you just use this I put it on a cotton pad or a piece of tissue and just literally press it against the skin and everything comes off literally press it on hold it on there for a couple seconds everything comes off I used to think this was an unnecessary makeup step but it is not if you don't want to tug at your skin and it's really not good to have that excess eyeliner and stuff on your eyes trust me I was one of those girls this might be TMI let's say I was dating a guy and I had really beautiful makeup this is back in the day when I used to go to Mac and have them do my makeup before I knew how to do my own makeup and I would be like well I paid $50 for this makeup I cannot just take it off at night so I would leave it on throughout the night sometimes even two days guys like I would leave makeup on for two days and I was thinking I'm getting the most bang for my buck that was so bad and I wondered why my skin would break out so anyways I love this stuff it's awesome all right friends that is it for me just this is 
thing is getting tangled. I should say hair, but we all know it's a wig, so I call it a thing. That's not good. Maybe that's why it's tangled. That is it for me. Let me know in the comments down below what you're going to be picking up from Sephora. I actually really want to know because sometimes I get ideas of things that I want to buy from what you guys are buying, so let me know in the comments down below. I'll leave a link to everything down below. Let me know if you'd like to see a part two because we have barely touched the surface here on my recommendations. So if you're interested in a part two, I could get that up really quickly. I'm for sure going to do a shopping list slash wish list because this was things that I'm recommending to you that I already own. But if you guys would be interested in seeing what I plan on buying, let me know. I'm a little scared to do that because everything would be high end. Just keeping it real because I told you guys, if you if you're not new around here, you know, I tell you all the time that when these sales come up, this is the time that I buy those big ticket items that maybe I've had in my wish list for a wish list for like a I don't know, a couple months, a couple weeks, because you get the money off and I get I get the most bang for my buck. So usually the things I'm going to buy are very expensive. Well, I shouldn't say very, but they're usually over fifty. Um, one thing I want to buy is like four hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm saying that, but I really think I might pull the trigger on that one. So if you're interested in seeing what that is, let me know in the comments down below. That is it for me. I will leave a link to the video where my boyfriend and I tasted Australian treats right here. Um, I'll leave a link to my second channel. Check out my second channel where we vlogged all throughout Australia here. If you want to subscribe, you can click my face here and I will see you soon. Ciao.